Peace, everybody. This is Kaisheen with 45 Fitness and Strength. Just wanted to take a moment to say thank you for watching this video. Welcome to my channel, or if you're already a subscriber, welcome back to the channel. And uh, let's get right into this week's training recap. So I only ended up training twice this week. This is for the week that ended Sunday, June 2nd. And uh, even though I only trained twice, this is actually an improvement from the weeks preceding that. Uh, for two main reasons, I just haven't been training a lot lately. One is because I've just been very busy. And uh, aside or along with that, uh, this has also been uh, the month of Ramadan, which if you haven't heard of before, it's a month of fasting that Muslims around the world observe. And so I have not been eating pretty much all day up until sunset each day of this month. And that uh, here in, in the mid-Atlantic region of the U.S. has been falling around uh, between 8.05 and 8.25 um, as the month went on. So uh, my gym time uh, kind of got scrambled around, etc. cetera. It and just hasn't, hasn't worked out very well, no pun intended. So anyway, been getting back into the gym uh, with a little more frequency. I made it in twice last week. And because um, even though Ramadan is ending, some of the other things that have kept me out of the gym aren't going anywhere. Um, I'm going to try a different approach to training uh, over the next uh, few weeks and see how it goes. Uh, that approach is going to involve, as you can see me struggling here uh, with this um, set to failure on bench press, it's going to involve um, trying to go a more high intensity route. That is uh, picking certain exercises, taking them to failure or possibly beyond with something like rest pause sets or, or something of that nature. Um, the training format that I'm going to be using for the next several weeks is really the uh, training or training split, I should say, not training format necessarily. But the training split is the dog crap or DC training uh, training split, which on basically splits your body over two days. Uh, the first day uh, involves chest, shoulders, triceps, uh, and your back. And the second day is a uh, basically biceps and forearms, uh, calves and, uh, and your legs, hamstrings and quads. Um, the way I plan to do this is to still get the power lifts in uh, throughout that cycle. Basically, you, do, you train three days a week and uh, you alternate to work out A, B, A one week and work out B, A, B the second week and so on. So my goal is still to get the power lifts, the bench, the squat, the deadlift, get each of those done along with the overhead press uh, once every two weeks. Again, I don't have any uh, competitions coming up anytime soon. So I'm going to give this a shot at least through uh, our planned trip to Disney World in August and uh, just kind of see, see how it feels, see how it goes. Um, I did not want to try doing anything to take sets beyond failure in these first couple of sessions. And quite honestly, I'm not even sure that I took each of these working sets to failure. Part of that is because I've been running on fumes, basically. I just haven't I've been running a pretty significant calorie deficit. I've lost about four and a half pounds over the course of this month. So uh, that's one reason. And the other reason is, quite honestly, I've pushed myself in training for a long time, but training to failure is something I've actually been trying to avoid for several years. So now to switch gears, it's a lot harder from a mental standpoint than I kind of expected it to be. Um, but I'm, I really want to see how, how I respond to it. So now that I'll be back to my regular eating uh, pattern, um, that excuse or reason will be out of the way. So really all I have to do is uh, just kind of get my mind dialed into it and be willing to really push myself past that threshold and uh, see what that does for me. See, if in, my main goal right now really is to regain some weight. Um, at the end of Ramadan last year in 2018, I'm sorry, at the beginning, I was uh, about 223 pounds and um, again, pushing my best lifts. Uh, I did a competition where I squatted, what, 529. I think I benched 325 and deadlifted uh, 
568. I know my total was 645 kilos. It was a PR total. It's the biggest and strongest I'd ever been. That's not um, that's not an elite powerlifting numbers, but it's pretty good for me. Oh, side note, um, I switched to this different filter on this video clip of these uh, this these wrist curls just because it came out so dark. You you really couldn't see it. Um, you really couldn't see it the uh, in the original format. So just tinkering around with filters, I tried this one and said, hey, well, you can see what's going on here. So that's why it's got this um, this black and white um, silent era vibe going to it. But anyway, um, after Ramadan of last year, I was about eight and a half pounds lighter. I think I was around two, 213, no, 214 or so, 215. And then I ended up still losing a little more weight even after that over the course of the year i mean i walked around most of the year like 212 to 213 right now i'm waking up um the last two weeks i've weighed myself at exactly 209 pounds so that's the lightest i've been in in a couple of years so my main priority right now is just to regain uh regain some weight and then see if we can get stronger with some of that muscle that we've uh, that we've gotten back. Ideally, I will regain some weight and actually even be a little bit leaner than I was. I don't think I was fat by any stretch of the imagination, but I'd like to be even leaner than I was uh, when I was like 223 before. So we got a long road to go to try to gain about uh, 15, 16 pounds or so and see what we can do with that weight uh, on this frame here so anyway that's pretty much it i think this is the last set that's going to get included in this clip this leg press by the way uh just another side note i'm not sure why this new gym that i've been going to which i do really enjoy because it's 24 hours and it's closer to home than the ymca that i went to for a long long time uh but this gym is does not have some of the equipment i like this leg press better than the one at the y but why this leg press is so close to this wall where the plates um, are in danger of crashing into that pillar, which, are, which yes, uh, maybe I'll show it on another video. The side of that wall does have plenty of dents in it. I have no idea. But anyway, um, this leg press is, um, is going to wrap it up. All right, so if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you click like on the video, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time. Peace.